kind of have this feeling about uh, drawing the turtles. You know, the shell is a huge uh, part of what makes the uh, turtle move in, you know, its overall appearance and shape and form. And there's not a lot of movement in it. Uh, if you've ever had a turtle, I had a bunch, for some reason I had a bunch of turtles when I was a kid. I was having turtles from time to time. And uh, they do have some bend in this part of the shell, uh, but not much, not any on the back. So I kind of think like if you if you put the shell down somewhere at a particular shape or angle, or you know the uh, everything else kind of follows. I'm just wanting to just draw the the turtle shape, you know, the Haven't paid much attention to uh, some of the more recent uh, turtle comics. I don't know, they just, just don't really speak to me too much anymore. Although I still love the characters. Uh, I went back and read some of the Archie stuff, the Archie comics that were done in the uh, late 80s. I think they first came out 88, 89, somewhere around there. And I have a few of them still sitting, laying around here. And uh, I really enjoyed those stories. They were, they, were, they were fun. They were fun. They were silly. But, uh, I don't know, the new Turtle Comics just ain't doing it for me. So, anyway, I was just wanting to draw the, uh, the shell and just say, okay, well, there's the shell. Where does, uh, everything else go according to the shell, you know? I got the bandana here. Down, it gets tied up. So, anyway, and something I, I noticed that I was doing, um, the uh, knee pads are actually a lot bigger in the original comic than than I've been drawing. So I thought maybe uh, I'd kind of pay a little more attention to that, uh, the uh, elbow and knee pads, maybe make them a little bit bigger. I think they had like a three pad elbow and knee pads for like three pads. I was doing it with two. 
but three makes a little more sense, I guess. Make sure I get the get that stuff drawn in properly. And also uh gotta get the uh, belt. drawn in here Try to get the uh, the tape around the wrist. So the hands, I think, are a little bigger than what I've been drawing to. So that's another thing I can kind of look at. That's pretty cool. There we go. All right, pretty happy with that. Let me uh, just reference the uh, the shells, the pattern on the shell again. There we go. That helps. I just got the book right there, so I can see what the pattern on the shell is. Just put it off to the side there. Let me uh. Let me just rough it in. Right there. 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 I think 
that's it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need to. One, boom, boom. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. go basically like that and then there's the uh, rim of the shell put that in there There we go. Feel pretty happy about that. And this is going to be uh, Donatello with the bow staff. Alright. Now to the fun part. We get to start inking. Let me get my dry ink out yeah just hint at some some dry brushing and what I'm doing with this off to the side is I'm kind of uh, patting it down so that it uh, you know takes some of the ink off of it I think this time when I do this, I'm going to try and mimic the overall shape of the form and stuff. Just a little more than I have been. That looks nice. What did I do with my lid? I just threw the lid back. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Now let me go in with the pintail, the little pintail brush. Let me uh, work on some details here. Yeah. 
I don't want to put too much up in the, on the top of the shell. I just want to kind of hint at it. Something I just noticed I was doing that I didn't really care for is I was trying to find the line, you know, sketchy, like, like, you know, like I'm sketching. I don't need to do that because I already got the line. I just need to come in here and put it down, you know. Yeah, I really like uh, doing the turtles like this. I feel like it's, uh, you know, it's doing something pretty good. I mean, it's really capturing the essence of what I always felt the turtles was like when I was younger. There's not too many um, comic characters out there that I'd actually like to draw professionally. Um, but the uh, Turtles is definitely one of them. really really like to draw the turtles they are one of my favorites oh you know what something I forgot to do with the pencil I never put in the bandana. I knew it was missing something.
Yeah, I really think I could uh, do something with the turtles if I if I had the chance. Uh, Spider Man's another one of those I would wouldn't mind doing, but everyone wants to do Spider Man, right? I'm sure, there's a long line waiting for that one. But Spider Man's kind of I always thought Spider Man was kind of dark and dreary, but I don't know, it's kind of changed a bit. No. Not really the, you know, the dark and dreary that it, I, th I thought it once was. Let me get the uh, big brush out. Let me pause and come right back. Again, as usual, I'm just I'm just trying to dry brush this thing as best I can. It's got a lot of ink already loaded on it, so I'm just doing the best I can here. I'm liking that one. That one's actually turning out pretty good. Uh, arm right here is a little bit wonky, but that's okay. You get the idea. Almost like to get a little splatter on this one, but not gonna do it. I think splatter would actually help this one a little bit, but I don't know. Probably just don't want to get my uh, my uh, fingers dirty. <laughs> You do the ink splatter and it really dirties up your finger, your hands.
I might actually go back in this and uh, erase some of the pencil on this one. Kind of feel like it needs to be done. There we go. Now that I'm pretty happy with. Let me get a little bit of just a little bit here. Kind of just wanna. This is what I'm talking about. Like it would probably help if I did a little bit of splatter on this. It would work really well. Anyway, I am really thrilled with that. I need to let the ink dry before I. Uh, erase some of the pencils but I will just put that in the final piece huh? I think you know how to erase pencil anyway uh, hope you like this one and uh, see you next time if you like what you see in here give us a like share subscribe also go on over to the skitscomic.com website all videos show up there a week before they ever hit YouTube. While you're there, pick you up a comic book, print, or go ahead and uh, get you an original piece of art.